Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. Now, I think we're all sort of aware that there are people out there that are buying sort of high-end, expensive, luxury watches for the purpose of investment. They're buying these watches thinking or knowing that they are likely to go up in value and they're gonna make a little bit of money out of it. Now, for me, I'm not buying these sort of high-end luxury watches. I don't have the budget for that. And I certainly don't have the budget to be able to invest money in these watches for the purpose of making money. The majority of watches that I buy are sort of an affordable range. However, I do buy and sell watches quite regularly, and I have been doing this for a number of years. But I certainly have never sort of bought a watch with the intention of trying to make money out of it or buying it as an investment. My primary goal for buying watches is to buy watches that I'm actually going to wear, that I'm going to enjoy, and that I really just want to own and actually have that time on my wrist or in my watch box. The second reason I buy and sell watches, apart from that primary reason of actually enjoying and wearing them myself, is to be able to have content for this channel. But my third goal, and a goal that I do keep in the back of my mind when I am buying and selling these watches, is to try and buy them at a price that I can try and get my money back for them, to try and sort of equal money so that I'm not gonna be losing money. When I'm buying and selling watches, I am basically selling a watch to get money back to be able to then afford to be able to buy the next watch. So the idea is not to try and lose money so that I can sort of reinvest that into the next watch. And I've done fairly well at that over the last few years. There are certainly watches that I've lost a little bit of money on. Not a huge amount of money, but I've certainly lost $20 here, $50 there, occasionally $80. But the vast majority of watches, I've actually generally got my money back. But there have been a few that I've actually made a little bit of money on. Now, overall, I'm certainly not sort of making huge money on these watches, but I've made enough money that I've sort of equaled out the losses of those other watches. That was up until recently when I randomly came across this pocket watch. It's a 1960s Smith's brand pocket watch, and it was in pretty rough condition, but it was particularly cheap. It was also located nearby where I live, and I ended up buying it for quite a cheap amount of money. And after cleaning it up, after putting some effort into it, I ended up selling it and making a little bit of profit. And this made me start to think, can you actually go out there with intention of buying an affordable watch for the purpose of making a little bit of money. Now, I'm not thinking that this is going to be a new career for me. I just thought it might be an interesting thing to try and it certainly would be an interesting thing to sort of do as a video for my channel. So what I've tasked myself with, mostly for the purpose of making a video because I certainly don't think I'm gonna start making huge money out of this and make an alternative career. But what I've done is I've set myself a 100 Australian dollar budget I'm gonna try and find something. I'm gonna try and keep an open mind to whatever's out there that possibly might make a little bit of money. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna try and clean it up if it needs a little bit of attention. And I'm gonna resell it and see if I can make a little bit of money. So we're gonna flip the camera around now and I'm gonna show you what I end up buying. Before I do so, just quickly, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you just click on that subscribe button. All right, let's flip this camera around now. Let's check out the watch that I end up buying and then we'll come back to me and I'm gonna tell you what I ended up making out of this watch. And I'll talk a little bit more about that Smith's vintage pocket watch that I bought. So as I just mentioned, I went into this with a maximum of $100 budget and I also went in with a sort of open mind, just trying to find anything that might possibly make a little bit of money. Yes, I'm not gonna make a fortune here, but just to make a little bit of money, just to try to prove a point, just to try and see if I can actually make money. So what did I end up with? All right, just remember, open mind. Well, here is a Mickey Mouse mechanical hand winding watch from the late 60s or early 70s. Yes, that's right, it's a Mickey Mouse watch. Just a little bit different to what I was expecting to buy, but I picked it up for the grand sum of 20 Australian dollars. Yes, only $20. Even though I set myself a slightly bigger budget than that, it was sort of anything under $100. And I thought for $20, it's a vintage Mickey Mouse Disney watch. It's mechanical, it's hand winding. This may make a little bit of money. So that's uh, that's my goal, try and make a little bit of money out of this one. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm gonna earn. Maybe I'll just get my $20 back, I don't know. But it is a rather interesting watch. Um, it has a Swiss made movement inside of this one. Um, as I said, it is hand winding and it's actually holding reasonable time as well. Um, it was put together in Hong Kong 
Um, I, I think the person that might buy this one, I think there might be a couple of different people. Somebody who's being a little bit nostalgic, somebody might be thinking back to their childhood back in the sort of the 70s and maybe remember owning a watch like this. Or perhaps somebody might buy this um, for one of their kids or something like a, a first mechanical watch for the kids. Um, it's not perfect, there's a bit of a uh, crack in that acrylic crystal. But hey, for $20, even if I can't sell it, well, it's only $20. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna flick back to me and I'm gonna tell you what I ended up getting for this or if I was even able to sell it. Okay, so you may think, well, this is a bit of an odd watch to pick. Well, I think there's a few good reasons for buying it. Firstly, it was only 20 Australian dollars. And at this price, I think it is super affordable and there's a reasonable opportunity to make a little bit of money out of it. Secondly, it is vintage and it is that sort of 60s, 70s vintage. And there's a lot of people now at that age range that they are sort of harping back to those years, they're reminiscing and there might be a watch in their past that may look very similar to this that they may want to pick up to sort of just have that sort of memories of when they were a kid. Also, being Disney, that is a big market for people. People do love Disney. They love Mickey Mouse. And hey, a vintage Disney Mickey Mouse watch for only $20, I think there's a potential for profit in it. So what ended up happening? Did I end up making a little bit of money out of this watch? Did I get my money back or did I lose money? Or is it still sitting in my watch box? Well, I ended up selling it and I sold it for double the amount that I paid for it. I paid 20 Australian dollars for it. I made 40 Australian dollars for it. And what about that Smith's pocket watch that I bought? Well, I ended up picking it up for 40 Australian dollars. I put about an hour's worth of attention in cleaning and polishing it. It came up really, really well. And I ended up selling it on eBay for 100 Australian dollars. Yes, there's some fees attached there, but I pretty much doubled my money on that watch as well. So when I have specifically gone out and bought a watch, like that Mickey Mouse watch, I doubled my money. When I've come across a watch and I've done a bit of effort in cleaning it up, like that vintage Smith's pocket watch, I also doubled my money with that one. So I think I've answered the question, can you make money on buying and selling affordable watches? The answer is yes. But I think the better question now to ask is, is it actually worth doing so? Now with that vintage Smith's pocket watch, I added up the amount of time and the effort that I put into both buying and selling it. I had to go pick that one up. I then had to put a fair bit of time into polishing and cleaning it. I then had to list it on eBay. I then had to go down to the post office and send it off. And I, I think I worked it out. It took me about two hours worth of effort overall. The Mickey Mouse watch, I sort of added up the time, sort of conversing with the seller, getting it in the mail, listing it. Somebody came and picked that one up, so I didn't actually have to go to the post office for that one, but I certainly put a bit of time and effort into cleaning it up, listing it, and all the little associated things that you have to do. And I ended up doubling my money and making $20. So when I averaged that out over the time it took me to buy and sell these watches, I made about $20 an hour. So out of the Smith's pocket watch, I probably made about $40 in profit. In the Mickey Mouse watch, obviously made $20 in profit. That's another $60 that is now in my little watch budget. So it's nothing to be sneezed at, and I'm quite happy to have an extra $60 in my watch purchasing budget. So the question is, is it actually worth buying and selling these affordable watches, specifically for the reason of trying to make money? And I'm gonna say no. Yes, these two watches, I end up making a little bit of profit and I'm very happy and pleased about that. However, there's certainly the potential that they may never have sold. So therefore the watches would have sat in my collection. And both watches are watches that I didn't really want in my collection. So going forth, I don't think I'm gonna specifically be buying any watches with the intent of just flipping them. But I'm certainly going to keep in the back of my mind, if I happen to see a real bargain that I might make money on, well, there's the potential that I might buy it. But realistically, I think I'm better off just buying watches that I like, that I enjoy, try and get them at a good price so that when I do eventually sell them, then I'm hopefully going to get my money back. But if they don't sell, or if I lose a little bit of money, I'm not going to be too concerned because they're watches that I've enjoyed. They're watches that I've actually wanted on my wrist. And realistically, that's the reason to buy a watch. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was of some interest to people. Um, it certainly was a bit of an interesting experience to me. I hope to see you in the next video.